that was a snippet of the start of a beautiful new day on board. In this episode, we will try to cover every little detail of our journey from Mumbai to Kochi to Lakshadweep and back. So, let's get cruising. Just like we go to the airport to board a flight, here we are at Mumbai International Cruise Terminal, Green Gate, to board a ship. A bus takes you from the gate to the main terminal where the check-in procedures are undertaken. Check-in procedures are similar to the airport. There is document verification, security check and baggage scan. This is when we witness the first close view of the Empress. Huge and majestic. Truly captivating. Once on board, we were awestruck at the grand classic interiors. Even the crew was extremely courteous and happy to help. No time to waste, let's head towards the room. With multiple corridors and several rooms on each deck, it was almost a treasure hunt. Finally, here we are. Quick tour. It was a small cozy room with a double bed on one side and a wardrobe, dressing table and TV on the other end. Mushrooms were quite compact and originally designed for a western audience, hence they prepared to use some toilet paper. We opted for two ocean view rooms for four adults and one infant and the view from the room absolutely worth every penny. It seems like baby Samaira prefers the comfort of the bed. There are also rooms in the same category which could accommodate four adults with bunk beds. It's almost 4 pm now and we were starving. Time to experience our first meal on board as we head towards Starlight, the fine dine restaurant. Soft music and the all white classy decor did give this place a very soothing and pleasant vibe. The food spread was pretty good and quite delicious too. However, the deserts, hmm, they were to die for. There are 11 decks on the cruise. Let's go check out the topmost deck first. was an open deck where one could enjoy the cool breeze, the sound of waves and the mesmerizing view. There is also a pool bar at one end. Keep you in the right spirit.
rest of the decks were mostly enclosed and fully carpeted, making it safe for kids to play around freely. Our next stop was at the Royal Marquis Theatre. This was a huge area with red plush seating. Every evening there are shows held here for the guests. Today we were to witness a live Bollywood performance. After that power pack performance, we decided to head to dinner. And with that, we call it a day. Sleep well, eat well, live well. After a sound sleep, it was time to eat well. Today we are heading towards the food court to grab some breakfast. There was a huge spread of Indian and English breakfast options available. Overall we would rate the food taste and spread as an 8 on 10. While there was a good number of North Indian and Jain cuisine, South Indian varieties still needed a little more attention. Ambience, cleanliness and service get a full 10 on 10. After that heavy breakfast, it was time to burn some calories. Every morning there are dance and fitness sessions held for the guests. A good kickstart to the day, isn't it? Later that day, we enjoyed some live music concerts, some fun games, and more yummy food. Getting baby food was not at all a challenge. Staff was always happy to provide customized food as per baby's taste and preference. Later that day, we hit the pool. The pool was kind of small for a large crowd on board. However, afternoons were mostly empty. In case you want to skip the pool, you could also chill in the jacuzzi. As it was time for sunset, we decided to hit the top deck to get a perfect glimpse of it. There were also some cozy, unique loungers out here. Our last stop of the day was at the dance floor. Baby Sam seems to be totally loving the DJ. Yet another beautiful day on board. Today, the cruise has stopped at God's Own Country, Kochi. You have the choice to disembark and explore Kochi, for which the package starts at $23 per person. Since the condition was still a bit volatile outside, we decided to stay indoor and enjoy the activities. Our first stop today is at the casino. In case you wish to try your luck here, don't forget to carry sufficient cash as cards are not accepted. Afternoons were well spent listening to some soft, soothing music. We also learned some salsa. Oh, this was fun. Don't miss out on the midnight binging. They offer some yummy pizza, fries and lot more. As the day came to an end, we decided to take a stroll on the upper deck and do something 
we often miss out in our busy city life. Start easy. The most exciting day of work. Today, we have disembarked at Lakshadweep for four hours. Land packages start at forty-two dollars per person. We'll be doing a separate video on all the fun and activities at Lakshadweep. Here is just a glimpse of the blue water and white sand. Our last night on board, we are going to make the most of it. Let's start with some adventure. How about rock climbing? Or simply chill at the pool bar? There are three bars on board offering a good mix of cocktails and mocktails priced reasonably. Speaking of drinks, look who is high on life. There is also a gym, spa and salon, gaming arcade and a kids academy on board. You could drop off your kids here and they will be engaged with some fun games and activities. Amidst all the fun, we almost forgot to click some good pictures. Let's go. You could also choose to get a photo shoot done professionally at the Focus Photo Gallery. Prices start at $60 for 10 pictures. As of our last night sets in, we decided to do what we love the most. Dance our heart out. In the next episode, we will be answering some frequently asked questions. In case you have any queries, please do leave them in the comment section and it will be addressed in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed the journey so far. Until next time.